हैव यू सीन ऑन बैक साइड ऑफ द कार ओके वीजीटी इज रिटर्न व्हाट डज इट मींस सो हाय दिस इज विजय वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टेक्नो एजुकेशन एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल गिव यू ब्रीफ आईडिया अबाउट वीजीटी वीजीटी मींस वेरिएबल जिओमेट्री टर्बो चार्जर ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल गिव यू ब्रीफ आईडिया अबाउट सुपर चार्जर एंड टर्बो चार्जर सो यू कैन इजीली अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ वीजीटी वीजीटी मींस वेरिएबल जिओमेट्री टर्बो चार्जर एंड सुपर चार्जर what is supercharger supercharger means it is a compressor so in all the cars okay we are using compressor so is it supercharger no supercharger means if it is connected with inlet of engine and its function is to increase the pressure of air and it will increase the density of air and this high dense air it is supplied to the engine then it is called supercharger so the function of the supercharger is to increase the suction pressure of air it is called supercharger so in car we are using compressor for air conditioning system we are also using compressor for pneumatic braking system pneumatic suspension system so there are various application of the compressor but these all are not the application of the supercharger so if the compressor it is connected with the inlet of the engine and if its function is to increase the pressure of air then it is called supercharger so supercharger is a compressor it will increase the suction pressure of air there are various application of the supercharger it is used in automobile in petrol engine and diesel engine to increase the efficiency of the engine in some of the applications okay we are uh, using a uh, supercharger because of the limited space for example uh, let us take one example of railway engine diesel locomotive okay so the need of the supercharger because our objective is to produce the use power because this locomotive engine pull the number of wagons okay so our limitation is limited space meter gauge and broad gauge okay so in a small engine we need to produce use power by using compressor so this compressor it will compress the air and this compressed air it is supplied to the diesel engine so in a small size engine we can achieve to maximum output but this is the function of supercharger it is also used in aircraft engine because in aircraft engine there are two objective of the supercharger the first objective to reduce the weight of the aircraft okay because in aircraft engine okay whenever we increase the weight of the engine so at that time the fuel consumption okay in the engine it will be reduces so our objective is how can we reduce the weight in the engine so by using this supercharger in aircraft you can reduce the weight of the engine and we can reduce the fuel supply so this is the objective of supercharger in aircraft engine in aircraft engine there are two basic need of supercharger the first need you can reduce the weight of the aircraft and the second need of the supercharger in aircraft okay with respect to the altitude or height okay the density of the air it will be decreases so this compressor or supercharger it will compensate the variation of the density of air it is also used in in racing car because in racing car our objective is to reduce the weight of the car to win the race okay so this is the basic need of supercharger in automobile the second one is turbocharger turbocharger means turbine it is a output device okay it will produce the power so in a engine through the exhaust gases we can rotate this turbine and this turbine will produce the output and this output is supplied to the compressor so in a car there are various types of supercharger we have already discussed in my previous lecture it is engine driven supercharger engine exhaust driven supercharger okay so in a engine driven supercharger it will receive the power this compressor it will receive the power from the engine in a uh, turbine driven supercharger it is called exhaust gas driven because exhaust gas it is a wastage of thermal energy okay you can see that in a silencer okay the hot gases is coming out from the silencer it is called hot gases or exhaust gases this exhaust gases it will reject the heat to the surrounding it is a wastage of thermal energy so this exhaust gases in case of a multi cylinder engine it is available at high pressure 
and this exhaust gas is, is utilized to rotate this turbine okay and this turbine will produce the power and this power it is supplied to the compressor so here you can see that the shaft of the turbine and the shaft of the compressor is common okay so whatever the power it is produced by the exhaust gases by rotating the turbine okay it is supplied to the compressor okay so this compressor it will receive the power from the turbine it is called engine exhaust gas driven supercharger so in this video lecture i will give you idea about vgt vgt means variable geometry turbocharger so in case of a simple uh, turbocharger okay we are facing some problem the first problem whenever your vehicle speed is low at that time in a engine exhaust okay uh, sufficient pressure is not there so at that time it will not uh, operate the turbine okay because this pressure is not sufficient to operate the turbine blades in second case whenever your vehicle speed is high so in second large acceleration condition okay the speed is very high so the exhaust pressure is also very high so in that case okay the in peak pressure okay we are also facing the problem related with the operation of the turbine okay at that time uh, sometimes it will fail okay so it will be solved by vgt vgt means variable geometry turbocharger so in both the case in peak load and in ideal load okay whenever there is no any load on the engine and whenever there is a peak load in both the cases okay we are facing the problem related with the operation of the turbine so in case of a vgt variable geometry turbocharger here you can see that the geometry of the van it will be changed it will be changed according to the pressure and velocity okay so whatever the problem we are facing in previous case our turbine it will be not operated in peak load and sometimes it will be not operated in ideal load okay so these are the problem it will be overcome by using vgt variable geometry turbocharger it is also known as variable geometry turbocharger variable nozzle turbocharger and variable van turbocharger it will depend on company so vgt means variable geometry turbocharger it will change the geometry of the van so in all the cases it can adjust the velocity and pressure in most of the cases our turbine will operate and it will produce the output it is called vgt variable geometry turbocharger so i hope this information it will be helpful to you if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also press bell icon for more video updates thank you friends